Hi, within this lecture we're going to tidy up our code a little bit and then test if this really works. So I'm going to add this into a function like we generally do and I'm going to call this add to registry function and add everything under here. And this is called persistence by the way. Adding this to registry and persistently calling this every time the windows opens and the persistence is the term that we use in cybersecurity for this workflow and I'm going to just hit tab in order to make a proper indentation for all these lines in here later on I'm going to call this function below here to make it start and I'm going to uncomment this okay in order to run this print loop to show people I hack you line and by the way it would be a good practice to control if we did the sysupgrades.exe thing before because it doesn't have to run this shootil or regedit command every time it opens right if we had copied it before actually it's better not to run this one more time because it might give an error so I'm going to control if this file exists so I'm going to say if not I'm going to use OS library to check it because it has the proper method all you have to say is OS path exists and give the path so if this exists it will give you a boolean and I'm using if not because I want to do this only if it doesn't exist if it exists it means that I have copied it before so let me give some indentations here one more time and run everything under if not statement so I believe now we are done let me save this and I'm not going to run this as a py file because it might be more realistic to run this as an exe by the way I'm going to delete this um, the registry editor value that we have put before and I have already deleted the exe file that we have created before so I'm going to run my script pyinstaller.exe with one file argument one more time so it will create my exe file for me so remember when we double click it it will copy itself to another location and it will add itself to the registry so when we restart the windows it will pop open for us so let me close everything down because now we are done and we are about to test so this is the moment of truth so let me double click on our exe and it just started printing out I hacked you so I'm a regular user I see this I hacked you thing it means that I run a virus so let me close everything down and in fact let me delete everything that I have downloaded in order to get rid of this virus so let me restart my operating system and see if everything is solved for me so I'm going to start my windows one more time and once it starts let me give my password and open it and see if it will be run for me as you can see now my tool is running again and it is running in a different location now let's see if it really actually worked and did the thing that we wanted so let me close this and let me go to the app data folder and see sysupgrades.exe is in there or not so IE users app data roaming and as you can see we have the sysupgrades.exe if we open the registry editor one more time 
if we go to RAM, then we will see that it has really added the sysupgrades.exe value in here. So now we know how to add files to the registry, how to copy files from one location to another, so we can use all this information in other tools as well. So we're gonna stop here and within the next lectures we're going to see how hackers actually make their files look innocent.